Hello, hello, and welcome to Fire Fairies. Let's play the Emerald Isle in CK3. This is episode 8, I believe. Apologies, first of all, for the lack of uploads last couple of days, last few days. That's been mainly because uh, YouTube, once again, at certain times of day, seems to be throttling uploads. Um, I've got like an app thing that tells me when the best time to upload or when the best time to release my videos are so then um it's kind of forcing me almost to make these videos in a kind of batch and then uh release them uh, and then to upload them all and then to set the time but then if someone leaves a comment a, a, you know a relevant comment it's kind of difficult to um um reply to it but um just recently i'm drying up with comments so i might make a batch of these edit them down put them on but although i don't well, i say edit down i try not to edit anything from these uh ck3 uploads because i like people to see behind the curtain see what's going on right so at the moment i'm interested in creating the kingdom of wales which is this and bringing it into my dynasty so the first port of call for this is to create um this duchy here do do bath da bath not quite sure and the best way to do that is to take this piece of land here now this piece of land here is owned by this chap uh, and he is a vassal of Yarl. So this is his land. Uh, he has a claim on the thing to immediately to the north which is one of my family members. One of my other family members was over here but I think he is no more. His land has been taken which is unfortunate. But I will, I will get that back. No, do not fear, that will be mine soon. But anyway, so I'm going to take this one here, then I'll be able to create the this duchy. Right, and we will celebrate with that. Uh, then once that duchy is claimed, I hope to ingratiate this person into this and then give him this piece of land here and the duchy title as a whole that's the plan stan then i will move on to this piece of land here and if it's still independent i'll take them on and then lastly this piece of land here so without further ado let us progress with war sir war this my leader at the moment king aid mac gormleth is um actually i'm pretty low on piety and whatnot but he's 64 years old now so he, he's not his health is poor so if he does take a hit with the old piety it doesn't really matter too much um so do you know what i'm gonna gonna do it really horrible kind of thing but i'm gonna do it right so i'm gonna leave this one here i'm gonna look for this chap here click on there it says declare war but it isn't really declaring war uh subjugate Jal. i don't really want to subjugate him i want to conquer could do it for holy war which would be a piety cost which I'd prefer, to be honest. And declare war. We raise all arms. We're going to turn this up a bit. We're going to let them... I'm going to get the option now to call people in. Who do I call in? Well, uh, don't mind about these guys too much. Dynasty members. This chap is a must. The reason being, that's 721, but he's next door. I'm going to call him in. It's going to cost me 75 renown. 
So we're going to do that. Um, then these guys are now raised. They can... The dramatic music is on. Uh, these guys can sit down on there. And we're going to take this piece of land. Greeting. Excellent. He's a Tudor, by the way. If we look here, this is interesting. You'll like this one, guys. So, his name is Lord Tudor. Can you see that? Well, they are the original family of the Tudor dynasty of England. Um, they married into uh, Norman, but it was a female marriage. So the Tudor name was anglicised to T-U-D-O-R. But these people are the same people. Which is why when the Princes of Wales created marches, some of the marches sided with the Aplewellians and some of them sided with the English crown. Um, and that was because the Tudor family later on, um, when I say later on, I'm talking about 400 years later, uh, they um, had land both sides of the border, Herefordshire and, I don't know how to say that in Welsh, um, all the way across to now Warwickshire is um, essentially where Birmingham is. Birmingham's over here somewhere. Coventry's there. Uh, Barony of Warwick. Birmingham. Barony of Birmingham. Uh, uh, the, the Tudors, um, as an extended family, held land all the way. And they married very well. They married into royal lines, um, other royal lines. But even today, our monarch can trace some ancestors back to Welsh blood here. There you go, a little history lesson for you. Right, so, task finished, controlling county. Uh, I'm just going to have him train my troops. Three months left until... It's been a couple of days since I've had a look at this. Five, so a couple of months left and this will be on six. Popular opinion is down. Probably offensive wars, but there won't be much more. The next monarch will have to deal with that various stuff. I want to get that to 10. It's got to get it to 10. I'm in, a, I'm in a race to compete with these people. God, I'm competing with these people. I need, you know, 20 is ideal. I mean, let's have a look, just for argument's sake, let's have a look at Rome. 27. So let's have a look at Constantinople. 27. Let's have a look at Delhi, which by this time was quite, uh, there it is, 15. And just for argument's sake, Cairo. 14 and Jerusalem also very important 14 so last but not least we should be looking at Tangiers 10 so it's not unrealistic we are you know for a tribal kingdom six is actually very good and I hope to increase that further I want it to be a shining beacon of light um, the, the higher up it goes, the more I get. I mean, let's see if I can actually see that. Does it? Yeah, look, I mean, from neighbours, nothing. Development, Developing county. Uh, scholarship focus, holy science, currency. Supply limit increased by 750. Yeah. Uh, right. It does say a development is ignored except for its effects on supply because the owner of the county has a tribal government. All I'm doing is prepping. So if I've got a fort. Well, I'll be damned. Look what this chap's done. He's landed on my capital. Can you Adam and Eve it? It's going to cost me a small fortune to get up there. So we're going to land 
here, which is next door. That should put the willies up him. Should put the willies up him. I've got my ally here helping. He sh shouldn't make too much progress. The Elder of Diffid is giving rise to Norse Astra Populists. We'll deal with those soon. So, I've got level 3 fort, um, county capital, enduring hardships. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's the enemy occupation. Do not lower control. That's good, isn't it? Select holding itself. Yeah, we're doing all right. I haven't got that next one now, unfortunately. Oh, I could do that one. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Anyway, I want whales before <laughs> let's uh, continue the fight. This should get this pretty soon. I think the chap who's leading this army is... Oh, he's an open terrain expert and a flexible leader. Okay. We're getting some kickback from attrition. All good. All good in the hood. Oh, I'm just going to go off screen and put my sound up a bit. I've got a feeling that the... Alright, we've got the little boy as a hostage. That's all good. My, yeah, they're, they're buggering off. They don't fancy it much. Very sensible old chap, let me tell you. I shan't be... Uh... Prisoner can be ransomed. Let's do that. 34 gold. Yeah, you can buggle off. Um, call density members, not going to do that, not going to do any of these. I'd If I was invaded by a much larger foe, I would happily take the prestige hit to defend my... What on earth is this? What's happened here? Is, is this guy defeated one of my armies? I've missed a trick here. What's going on here? I'm not quite sure what's happened here. But this is one of my armies and it's being slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. Wow. Just wow. What happened there? I think Wessex has come in and dealt me a savage blow. What's happened here? Attacking for the lordship of... <gasps> they are attacking for the same piece of land. Well, I'll be damned. Right. That has annoyed me no end. And this guy's up here, thinks he's doing a job on me. So now I'm going to have to go and lick my wounds while smashing this guy's head in. I'll be back in a minute, chaps. Right, let's have a look at this fight. I really need to win this. This is my king. Right, he's going to bash his head in. And then I'm having to race back, now known for my dedication to my faith. Enemy captured, now at 91. We're going to travel straight to here, actually straight to here. I'm not quite sure where he's going. Maybe he thinks he's going to go and raid or attack somewhere. What the hell's happened here? Army of Oxford, Army of Gloucester. Who's who's holding this? I don't understand. Oh, he's in two wars. Croatians. He's fought, he's uh, an ally to some Croat who have come and siege down some land here. By the looks of it, who holds this? Occupied by Earl Warfelin of. Oxfordshire. So there's internal conflicts as well. What on earth is happening? Who are you fighting? 
Uh, oh, I was in an oxygen tank on the Oldham of Warwickshire. Of Wiltshire. Oh my God. Anyway. Right. So my people are coming down. Uh, I've got some people captured. Not a problem. Um, who is this guy? Two armies of Winchester. No problem. Coming. Who's this guy? He's a hostile army as well. And he's from... Cornwall? Is he an ally of this guy? Yes, he is. So, they're creating a big army. Right. I think he's coming to reinforce me. I might have to summon a demon, so to speak. But anyway, we'll see what sort of troop numbers I get when he turns up. And then we're going to go marching in. Right, 396. I'm the daddy round here. And what I says goes. So, unless you guys want a serious bloody headache, you are going to get off my land. Here we come. If I were you... Are you coming, are you coming to face me? Because if you are, you've got a problem in your heed. Yes, that's what I thought. Right. You're all here. Hello, welcome to the party. Serious headaches all round. Get off my land. Okay. Right. There we go. There's that thing again where we're just bashing them around the head. Now, leave before I really get the hump. Is there some more have just turned up? This is their king, and I'm savaging him as well. I want this land, and I suggest you bugger off. It's going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Right. Naughty people. Right. Who on earth is this? A host That's a hostile army. Well, where the hell are they from? The Earldom of Ormond is considered a hostile army. What's he doing? Well, who's he fighting? Attacking in the Holy War for the Lordship. So he's after my land as well. So I've, I declared for this land. And he was an ally of that chap. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I've got a feeling I'm going to have my own men coming over trying to help their ally. Which is a bit of a thing, isn't it? I mean, that's not... That can't be right, can it? <laughs> Sorry, what's all that about? Anyway. He's soon to become my ally. Doesn't know it yet, but he is. Right, let's get the 100. And then call this task finish converted county faith. I'm sure there's more to be had around here somewhere. What's uh, you've got to go? Got to go. What's going on up here? That's Lothian versus Strathclyde. Not quite sure why they're fighting. Let's have a look. Betty King Usid Map Rune. Of Strathclyde in the Lothian claim on the Earldom of Galwidel. So that's a fight between these two. I don't know why they're doing it on the Isle of Man. Doesn't make sense to me. Because that's mine. I died. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm deed. I am deed. Pause it quickly. I have won the war and died just as the war finished. Just as the war finished, High King Flan Sinner, the Foolish, took over. Currently located in Carefully, that's not Carefully as in be careful, that's Carefully, which is a renowned maker of cheese. 
High King Aid of Ireland rests in the arms of the Lord at, at, at 65 years of age. He died of old age, known to be an exceptional strategist. He spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troops. High King Flan Sinner ascends to the throne, never caring for the word of the scriptures. Many fear Flan Sinner's rule will come to an early end as God smites him. Oh dear. Continue as High King Flanner. I'm at war, but that is soon to end. Enforce demands. So be it. Uh, your son is the new player heir. We're going to have to look at that in a minute. Uh, you replace King Eyed in the Holy War. Yes, faction targeting me has disbanded. Now I have a new Archbishop who endorses me just. Although I have a short reign penalty. The dynasty head has changed to this chap. Um, that should come back to me. Task has been aborted. Uh, no longer can continue that. Faction created against me. Install gold Dolgus on the Irish throne. Disband all armies. So, no lifestyle has been chosen. I'm assuming he's done this one here. Is he gallant already? Let's go and have a look. Yes, he is. He is gallant. Uh, quite a few children. One of them is the Queen of Brittany. So she married well. Um, now, let me think carefully. Let me think carefully. Intrigue. How old is this man? He's 49. Uh, golden obligations could be quite handy now. So we could do... Monthly income 10. Uh, enemy agent accepted stewardship, courtier and guest opinion. Hmm... Tax man, collect taxes more effectively, cutting corners, defensive measures, garrison sizes, forts, professional workforce, organised master. That's mm, you could use claim thrown. I don't have a liege. Demand payment for hooks, vassal tax contribution plus 10, monthly income while at war plus 10. It is my domain. I think there's our winner. So, monthly income plus 10. So, let's try that on for size. That's the first thing. Second thing is, let's have a look and see what these are. Grant title, no. Low county control down here. I need to have a word with this chap and... Can I not create this title? I really need to create this title, actually. Ah, oh, Brittany got this. Damn you, sir. That was not supposed to happen. Wow. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it really? Wow. I don't even want this bit of land. God. Right. Active elections. Kingdom of Ireland. Kingdom of Meath. Rank. He's my son. Uh, your son. Player, heir and champion. What's this? Consumption. He'll be dead soon then. So that's for Ireland. And looks like he's already got votes. Seem to have well, I'm the only one who can vote, so that's pretty good. And there are seven electors, and most of them are voting that way anyway. No, they're not. What's going on here? Hmm. Well, luckily, my voting strength seems to outdo them all. Yeah. He's got five votes. He only needs one more vote, you know. What's he any good at? He's not really any good at anything. I could make him a diplomat, I suppose. 
Right. Um, all right, let's get rid of these. I can lawfully imprison Martha. Why? She attempted murder of a family member. No, we can leave that. Declaring wars. No, I've made a pig zero of the one I was in. Uh, people are expecting council positions. I'll get it on merit. Low county control. I need to sort this out. First order of business is Marshall. Chap from Leinster. One of my champions is going to have to be him. He's going to have to come down here and sort this out. Right, Chancellor. Wow, my half brother from Ulster. Yeah, foreign affairs. Nope, don't bother. Spymaster. Wow. The sign still really good. Okay. Integrate titles. Right, no. Shan't be doing any of that. Betrothed can marry. Is this a good marriage? I don't know. Same proposal. Excellent. Don't think I've got an alliance out of that. Right. So, converts heathens. No, they're already converted. These are all insular. Let's deal with this one first. Sure, I'll see it my way soon. Right. So, there is a fly in the ointment. A fly in the bloody ointment. Let's have a look at my. Um, so, from Realm Confederate Partition, he will get Athlone, Eilic, Dublin and Morgana. Really? Why is that so? Did he not have many children? He didn't have any brothers. Wow. Wow. That is a bloody wow, I tell you. Male preference. That's it. Amazeballs. It's going to be a stable one. Right, second of all, really need to upgrade this. I'm missing 92, so I'm going to sort that out. So I'm going to turn it on and play on, and faction created against me. It has a faction, mem a faction to install Dolgus on the Irish throne. Where are you, Dolgus? Well, there's no one really there. It has one member, which is him. And faction to install King Michael of Brittany on the Irish phone. And that's my half-brother. So, I don't know what's going on there. Time to sway some people, I think. Right, so let's look at this one again. He's Titus Claimants. He's Titus Claimants. He's... <laughs> Dissolves the Earldom of Eilach, which drops him down 25%. So I'm going to start to sway him. Start scheme. The reason I'm doing him is because he... Oh, God, no. Their military strength is similar to ours. Oh, well, right, we're automatically allied. But he's not similar to me at all. In fact, he's really bad. If he have to wait, uh, he'll have to wait until he's bigger. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus. Uh, you're going to more vigilant? The idiot belongs in my dungeon. Who is this man? Wow. Uh, as is a known criminal, allowing you to imprison without being viewed as a... Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take him in prison and then I'm going to... Negotiate release. I'm going to recruit the man. I'm going to wick hook. He should become a champion. Have any luck? Watch your step now, Fergus. Right, let's have a look, see what's going on champion wise. 
Um, some of these are really bad. Forbid. 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 Really bad. Really bad. Right. Need some more dosh. Quite badly, really. So, I've... I'm going to have to try and take... Um, He's, he's just not old enough. How old is his son? 29. You better have some children, sunshine. Oh my god. I think I'm... Uh, this is my cousin. And this is my son. Did she just become a woman? 20. She grew up quick, didn't she? Um, they don't look hopeful for children. My cousin married my son. Well, if that doesn't give me any... Uh, <laughs> inbred children I don't know what will so ladies and gentlemen I've managed to inadvertently divide my kingdom further than I would have wished are these people married what did you marry them to this person for crazy I might give you this bit of land here your homeland but you don't have any bloody children She's only 12. Break betrothal. Break betrothal. That's ridiculous. Marrying him to that vegetable for Alliance power. Who's this? Potential alliance. Uh, alliance power. Actually, let's do it by prestige gain. How old is she? 12. He's 11. Let's get cracking here, shall we? Matrimonial, who accepts? Fantastic. Send proposal. Right, who's your sister? Who's this guy? What? Anyone important in your family? Going back quite a way. Chieftain of that place. Let's have a look where that is. Where is that title? Desmond. Who's got it now? You people have. Alright, I'm going to give them this piece of land here. Hold on, wait a minute. 27, 18. Probably plenty of time for children. Alright, recent land. There we go. Congratulations. Alright, alliance formed. Yes. Right, go and fill your boots. Okay, with that, I'm going to end this Let's Play. Uh, my next target is going to be... Furlix. <laughs> Who are misses? It's going to be Furlix. And then after Furlix, I am going to subjugate this guy, I think. He's not going to like me, but he'll, he'll thank me later. And then I'm going to go after Gwynedd. And that should give me the King of Wales title, uh, for which I will hand away to somebody in the dynasty. Um, if there's only one left. And then I will look for my next victim, which could well be England. I am thinking I might make England mine. Two Kingdom tier titles, pretty good, make me pretty powerful. But... I've got a feeling Navarra might be the next one, but it would be weak. I don't know. Depends how much prestige I can kind of manufacture, really. I'm trying to build tall. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I really appreciate uh, everyone who does, and likes, comments, subscribes, etc. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!